Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, you guys are gonna be doing a little transformation with me. I'm gonna be going to yoga, either doing it in studio or at home for the next week. I'm gonna be eating healthier. I'm gonna be drinking a lot of water, try to cut back on the caffeine. Well, I don't drink pop, but I do drink a lot of coffee. So maybe just like one or two cups a day. And I'm gonna be doing these Japanese stretches. Did I say that? Well, I'm just gonna be trying to overall better myself. I'm gonna see how, you know, washing my face every day, doing the face mask, drinking a lot of water helps my skin. This is what it looks like right now. Not too bad, but you know, it could be better. And I'm gonna see what doing these stretches that are supposed to like shrink your waist are gonna do for the next like seven days. And what doing yoga, being active and eating healthy will do for my body. I've never really done anything like this before. Oh, there's a bee. So I just got done with yoga and it was, I don't know, it's like so relaxing but a workout at the same time, like I liked it. So I'm going to sign up for a few more classes this week so I don't just have to do them online at home because I feel like you just learn more in person sometimes when you're not very good at it, you know? But the only bad thing about it is I feel, if you didn't know, I got a breast enlargement done, oh my gosh, like nine years ago, 10 years ago now. And I need to get them redone because you're supposed to get them redone like every eight years, right? And I've already torn this pocket on the right side. And oh my God, it hurt so bad. I felt like I tore my other pocket. Oh. Good thing I have an appointment with them coming up, but oh, it hurt so bad. I couldn't do like certain stretches because my like chest was throbbing. It was so painful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get a smoothie and go home and change and figure out, well, maybe my smoothie will be my lunch. Maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll do like a smoothie and a yogurt or something. I'll figure out lunch and I'll let you guys know. Bye. We are back because I did get hungry and my sister so graciously brought me. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> She brought me, um, oh my god, Panera, having a brain fart. She brought me Panera, and I got a barbecue salad and some chicken noodle soup, the you pick two, and the baguette. And the baguette is probably, like, the worst thing that I'm eating right now. Otherwise, the salad is pretty, like, healthy, I think, and, you know, soup is good. It's not that, like, bad for you either. So this is what I'm having for lunch, and I will update you guys on dinner. Okay, so we are gonna measure to make sure we keep track and see if this Japanese stretch and the yoga helps me lose some inches. I will also be weighing myself. All right, hang on, I can't just twist it up. All right. Do this part, let's see. I am 29. And then I don't think it'll help me lose anything around the hips, but let's just measure that as well. Okay, hang on. 34. So 29 right here. And 34 right here. Got some curves. It's supposed to be like. <laughs> no, but day one and then let's see what I weigh on the scale. So that's I'm holding the salt. Dang, 131. Not too bad. Hey guys, okay, so it is day two. I am having a coffee and yogurt, the S'mores Flip Yogurts from Chobani. I love these, they are my favorite. Maybe the S'mores isn't like, you know, the healthiest one, but I still think it's like pretty healthy and good. So last night I'm so proud of myself because I was so hungry and wanted a snack after dinner, but all I ate was the, pan the um, banana pancakes, the eggs, and uh, toast, and that was it. So, very proud of myself. <laughs> but I was like so hungry, but I kept just drinking water. So, and then I woke up this morning, drank some water, and then, um, you know, got the kids on the bus and everything. It was freaking so cold out. I woke up at like 6.20, 
and the sun wasn't out like it was so cold it was 50 degrees outside september 1st like it never gets this cold as fast like mind blown but yeah so this is my breakfast i just wanted to show you guys i will update you guys at lunch bye it's now 1 15 and i'm gonna have some granola and either just granola and almond milk or some granola and yogurt my favorite this is like my ultimate favorite is the safe and fair chocolate granola i also just got their birthday cake one i'm not sure if that's good though and then i've never tried this one but i wanted to the purely elizabeth chocolate peanut butter salty sweet crunchy clusters so I'm gonna try a couple of these out. I'm gonna do chocolate and birthday cake, I think, right now. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I haven't been feeling the best today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like, you know, my body's just like going through something or if I have a bladder infection. Hey guys, so I just wanted to interrupt the editing really quick to tell you guys I did have a bladder infection. And I think it just like took a lot out of me and that's why I was so tired. But now I'm good. Hey guys, so I just got back from going on a pedal bike ride and taking my kids to the park. Now I'm gonna do dinner. So my dinner is this. So it is still day two. I did Hi. change. <laughs> I am her little kid. You're my little kid. You're my baby boy. You're so precious. <laughs> oh my god. I got it. Oh god. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do the Japanese stretch. Second day doing it. These two make it impossible to do anything. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is day three. I am gonna get coffee and go to yoga. Then I am getting a lash lift perm, whatever they're called. And then I will tell you guys how my morning's been. It is only 8.40. It is 60 degrees out, so that's why I'm wearing a hoodie. It's always super cold in the morning in Minnesota. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for lunch today. I'll figure it out. Last night I did have a snack of granola, but it was just granola and almond milk. But I am so proud of myself. I haven't been eating the junk food I usually eat. And I did the stretches and everything. So hopefully it'll be good. I'm just going to give you guys like quick run through pictures. Or I'll make something. Because otherwise this video will be way too long. So I'll just put some clips in of the food I'm going to eat for the next like three days. Two days. Three days. Three days to three. Well, maybe should I do it for five or so? I'll figure it out. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so it is now 2.15 and I'm finally eating lunch. I just got an acai bowl with peanut butter, granola, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and chia seeds. It looks delicious. I'm not really that hungry today for some reason. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll show you guys what I eat for dinner, bye. For breakfast, I had avocado and egg toast. And for lunch, I had chicken, sweet potatoes, corn, and wild rice with a chocolate so dessert. Hot. Hey guys, so we just had dinner at Chili's. I had the shrimp pasta, I'll insert a picture. And now, focus. It's like not focusing. Now we are at the movies, it is date night. He got popcorn and ice cream. I got cookie dough bites hey guys so this is day five i am at yoga and i just have a coffee i actually just got a taco bell i don't even know like if they had coffee but i didn't have enough time this morning to make or get one and i have a extra large water that i'm going to be trying to drink this morning these are my eyelashes from the lish La lish left the lash lift i got yesterday i wasn't able to do the hydrofacial like i had said which sucks because this zit just won't go away. It's 
freaking huge. But, um, I don't know. I woke up this morning with no energy, and it was freezing in my house, literally like 60 degrees. And I didn't want to get out of bed. And I don't know if it's my body just, you know, getting used to eating healthy. And I'm always active, but, like, doing the yoga and, you know, doing the stretches and not having as much sugar and coffee and chocolate and stuff. I don't know. You think it'd give you more energy though. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Plus I have like, you know, I get like seasonal depression and have like mental like stuff sometimes where I get like anxiety and depression and you know, nobody really likes to talk about it, but it's a big thing. And I don't know, I just did not want to get out of bed this morning. I just really didn't. And I just feel like I have no energy and I'm not like getting sick. Like I don't feel like I'm getting sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. It's one of those days, you know, how you have like those hard days sometimes. But yeah, so I have to walk in. It starts in five minutes. So I'll see you guys after. Bye. We then decided to take the kids camping for the night and it was so much fun. Hey guys, so today is Saturday. I've been doing this for five, almost six days. Um, I think I'm going to be done with it now. So let's see what the results are. Last night we did go camping and I had wings from the pizza place, but I didn't eat any pizza, any breadsticks, and I didn't eat anything after it. Very hard with like s'mores and all the snacks we had, but I'm very proud of myself because I've been doing yoga literally every day. I did forget to do the stretch yesterday, but I've been doing the stretches almost every day. They said you have to do the stretches for 10 days, so maybe I'll do like an update in the next video, but let's see if I have lost any inches. You never know. And let's see how much I weigh. So I do feel a little bloated today, but I also feel like I have lost, you know, some weight. I don't know about inches, but weight. All right, so I'm 27 right here, which I think is actually what it was last time. I'm not positive though. And I am 32 around my hips so we'll compare it to last time but this is what my stomach looks like i feel like you know it looks pretty flat and i feel like you can see an ab outline so i am very proud of myself i feel like you can't see a difference and i lost four pounds hey guys so today is the sixth day and I just wanted to do a little review with you guys so not only did I lose inches and weight but I think mentally it helped as well it didn't really help my skin but you know that's hormones that's life and I could have still been drinking more water but I'm very proud of the results and I'm actually very proud of myself because it's kind of you know hard to drop your whole diet and stop eating what you're used to eat healthy start doing a new routine every day and you know i've had like temptations and i haven't given in so i am very proud of myself i lost four pounds i lost two inches and i just overall am feeling pretty good mentally and and you know i like the results of course and mentally, like I said, it has definitely, I think, helped make me more positive. And now that my kids are in school, I have more time to do the yoga every day. And I'm going to be making more videos because now I have time to do that as well. I want to try doing, like, eat like this celebrity or try this diet and see how those affect me as well, you know. But I hope you guys really like this video. I've been working on it all week and I just thought you know this is something that other people could relate to other people could try if you guys have any questions please comment them below and just let me know what you guys think of this if you guys have watched it to this far do a yoga emoji and, or something just let me know comment down below i love talking to you guys okay this is getting way too long don't forget to subscribe i'll also be doing a one year update on the surgery i had okay bye